Glad to have you join us again. Let's get talking now as we look at uh, market review at the NGS. On Thursday, the Nigerian equities market extended its decline, finishing in the red zone with a 0.31% decrease. This marks the second concurrence this week after the Central Bank of Nigeria Monetary Policy Committee raised its benchmark interest rate, also known as policy monetary policy rate by 25 basis points to 18.75%. The all shell index and equities market capitalization both experienced a decrease, settling at 65,482.91 basis points and 35.634 trillion naira, respectively. The equities market's positive return year to date stood as lower at 27.77%, um, despite the prevailing negative market sentiment. Three out of the five tracked indices closed on a positive note, while the NGS Banking, NGS Oil and Gas, NGS Industrial Indices recorded gains of 0.02%, 0.88%, and 0.01%, respectively. Meanwhile, the NGS Insurance and NGS Consumer Goods Index rose by 0.95% and 0.66% respectively. Chief Research Officer, Invest Data Consulting Limited, Ambrose Omodin, joins me now live in the studio to do some analysis of some of these figures as we bring home the closing activities for the week. Mr. Ambrose, good morning. Always a pleasure having you on the show. Thanks for having me, blessed. Yeah. We've seen the details. We've seen the figures. What would you say are the sentiments that played out at trading activities yesterday? Like you just mentioned, for the last two trading days, we have seen uh, a quiet and a mixed market as a lot of what investors like to reposition their posts. At the same time, digest the outcome of MPC meeting. It will very difficult hike and also the earnings that are coming to the market to see where they should post so put reposition their portfolio to. The good thing is that, like I always say, even here, I know anywhere I'm talking that, you know, as investor or trader, you know, you need to understand the market yourself so that at any given time, you know where to, where to move your portfolio or not. But I have emphasized in the, on this program that every investor in the market should look at the economic policy of, of the new government mm -hmm. and also where is it you know, going to, to train into, where is it actually is it going, and also which sector or industry will benefit from these policies. As an investor, you don't wait until you start seeing the benefit. You know, every investment is against the future. As you are seeing this policy the statement, either monetary policy or fiscal, uh, fiscal Pol policy, policy yeah. they have impact on company performance because mm -hmm. we are not operating outside the environment. That, that means for you, you need to understand Oh, if they hike interest rate, which industry will this affect? Which industry will it threaten? We know that one hike, hike rate on, on, on Tuesday, we not know that we are seeing more plus for the banking sector and a minus for what for the general economy. Mm -hmm. Because when you hike rate, when you are tightening fund and cost of fund will be high, people that want to expand their business will slow down because cost of borrowing is high. But the banking sector, whether the company is doing well or doing bad, they have of what making money. It's when you don't hike the rate, the, the next two days, they write their clients or their customers, oh, you know, the, the, the second bank have reviewed, you no, know, them, you know, they are just up. And because we are owing, it's done on you to pay us, they are creating money for themselves. Because, you know, we are taught in second is that the banks create money through what? Through interest. Hmm. That's why bank creates money. I don't say bank creates money. I say that. But not only CBN can, can print money, yeah. but banks itself create money through what? Interest. Through interest. When they give you money, they calculate as much as the bank is making money. For that, that, that's another major of them. And also, now we are seeing technology, you no, know, before the, the banks are sort of making money. Online, we are transferring, we are charging, you no, know, we are doing all this. For that, banks have sort of. And for me, now that we are seeing the result hit the market, you we're know, looking at all the results so far that have come. So look at the, the service sector. The one that came from insurance so far, mm. the one that came from the banking so far, mm. are looking impressive. But other sectors have already seen sign of what concern of the public on their results. It tells you that as an investor, you don't wait until you see more poor performance in that sector before you put it up. That means for now, I call it or call them um, you no know, value oriented world sectoral rotation. If you do now where you move from one sector to that, where you see that these companies they've done backward integration, yeah. they are not importing goods that will pay high interest. Yeah. No exchange rate has gone up, you're not going to hit their importation. But companies that have done backward integration, you know that yes, they are sourcing raw material, material in Nigeria. That means they will have uh, you know, advantage over companies that want that are importing goods. That means their goods are already a bit cheaper or they make more profit. Mm -hmm. This is I think that we're thinking now how then in the next you no know, six months from here to December, we'll now see where the whole 
no reform was seen is taking us because I tell you reform will not change overnight. Mm -hmm. Maybe the people are thinking that we are suffering now things are hard. I say yes, but you, you can't just conclude at this short period. You have to give time for the next either the first quarter of 2022 20, uh, 2024 or twenty or the second quarter to see how this thing play out and see where we are going. But only that this period you have to start your bet. And also you can't say also because the economy is becoming stiffer and you know you want to run away from investment, you need to have more source of income to survive. Because that's where you, see, you stop looking at one way. That's why I say if you are working Yes, you are earning little because of things that happen. But we'll send your money around somewhere so that you can. Because I tell you, if that thing is not enough to buy, mm. what would you do? But yeah. send an error able to bring something for you to, you know. That means you don't depend on one source of income. income that means yeah. you need to work, learn, learn how to invest, and not pay that you know, interest and that interest. You want. But I know that any environment where there is you no know, low purchasing power, investment suffer. No mm. matter how attractive the interest rate is, because it is when you have saved that you can invest. I mean, this I think that when I look at all these things, I, mean, I say the government in all this, let's see where we are going. I say we can't judge them now until the next six months and see where we are going. When I say, okay, this is where this government is going, this is where the police are going, okay. then if Nigeria will be, all, will be smiling. If that to smile, we'll know. If that also to complain, we'll also know. All right. Now, let's let, it, it, looking at the activities uh, that played out at the fundamentals, rather, that played out at the exchange yesterday. There seems to be a kind of profit taking also at the NGS, despite the, the decline. Um, what, what should we be looking at as we um, look at uh, uh, Friday, as we expect Friday figure, um, your, your projection? No, actually, when you say profit taking, in this part and part of the market, one of the market uh, dynamics that in any, any uh, environment you are invested in, in US market, in Ghana, anywhere, there's profit taking you away. When you enter a stock, because you are training with a plan, when you hit your plan, you are about to take profit. Mm -hmm. And knowing that the market have hit almost uh, you know, 66,000 uh, 66, uh, 66, uh, mark in this, yeah. and you about that it will amount to be correction. Not only correction, when market pull back again, it gather more momentum to break out that and continue. But in the process of breaking down, pulling back, you not take profit. But once you get that, when you are taking profit, look at the pullback. Is it a valued pullback? Is it a valued pullback or just because, as I speak now, as I yeah. yesterday, the uptrend strength of momentum is still there. That's why the market is taking profit now. We saw it for two days now on um, on Wednesday and Thursday. Today, on the strength of the number that is coming, I see that that's why profit is likely to continue. It might be on a reduced move because the more we are seeing a better number, people will be selling to go to another another store. That means volatility in the market will continue between now and next week. Why? Because as result is coming, the, the retail investor want to take quick action to react. Why the institutional investor and those that what we call the smart money, they don't react to result as people react to go. They okay. take time to do their analysis because they have committee of you no know, of investment where they can approve what to buy. Looking at the prospect of that company that will result or the industry where it's operating, yeah. you need to sit down before that means as you are reacting to result now, make sure that you are doing the right thing because when the big board are being the big phone, now especially now that our market is open to international investors, not referring to I think that, that means we need to understand the whole thing where the policy is taking us, who set up benefit then and start kind of pushing proposal toward that uh, direction. All right, we'll leave all the um, containing issues to analysts and gather. So many questions <laughs> yeah. I want to ask, but we'll leave it till then. <laughs> where we have <laughs> enough time no to talk about markets no and its trading activity. No but for now, this is the much we can time will permit us to take no on the capital market review. I'd like to say a big thank you to you, um, Chief Invest Chief Investment Officer of um, Invest Data, Chief Research Officer, beg your pardon, <laughs> of Invest Data Consulting Limited, Ambrose Thank you as always for your time. Thanks for having me, blessing.